you know, I wanted to get together with you um, because I wanted to just let you know what we're dealing with on a local, county, and state level um, and some of the challenges that we're facing that directly impact you. And um, I first, I want you to know that um, I'm working, I'm, work, I'm, I'm in work every day. I have not, not come to work. And um, you guys are on my mind all the time. This is not only you, but um, all, the, all the shops in town throughout, uh, throughout the town. Um, and I know what an impact this crisis has had on you. And we get this all kicked off, that we get this downtown uh, thriving again. And in no way do I want to be in my police department be a, uh, a barrier in that. I want to work with all of you to make sure that we uh, we get people down here and start going into your shops and more than ever because I'm ready as soon as we get going from the state and Governor Newsom goes into his fourth phase or whatever and we can get more cops on the street and we can get out here and do more things. I plan on meeting with you and Peggy and getting things going. I want to be I want to be your advocate and I really mean that you guys, okay? Some things that we've been we've been going through since the, since the crisis hit. And we're taking direction from our from our county health uh, department on how we go about things. Um, so I, I've had questions: Are you going to arrest us if we open up our shop? Um, listen, we need to abide by the health order, okay? But I'm here to tell you that um, my police officers are not going in the shop and arresting you. Okay, that's just not going to happen. Now, is there other ways that we can get get people to comply yeah there is um, now I want to talk about some things that are hitting us locally here um, let's talk about um, our homeless um, issue downtown um, we have about 32 homeless people right now um, in our city uh, prior to two months ago we had about 26 um, so we're seeing the increase out here why um, because Brentwood is a friendly town I mean I don't sound, want to sound funny about that because it's not funny but um, people don't get victimized as much as they do in bigger cities or other cities you get on highway 4 to Stockton I don't think I need to tell you that that's probably a pretty dangerous place at night uh, for anybody um, our homeless situation um, since I became chief in 2017 I assigned a police sergeant to be the uh, liaison to our homeless resources in the county and our city. See some of our homeless population downtown sleeping on the sidewalk. Um, that's illegal. There's nothing we can do about that. Now they can't block the sidewalk. Okay, so if you see them sprawled out and their stuff is blocking the sidewalk, um, our officers can get out and ask them to um, to not block the sidewalk. Now, if they're blocking the entrance into your shop, call us. They can't block an entrance into a into a, your storefronts. The county jails have released as many people as they can out of there, and they're not accepting anyone um, unless it falls in their criteria. Rape, murder, and um, assault with uh, great bodily injury. Okay, there's very few. And I've talked to Sheriff Livingston, and you know, we're not fans of that. This goes against every fiber in our bones. I, I've been in law enforcement for 33 years, and I uh, this goes against everything. Uh, 33 years ago, we used to actually transport people that had a bag of marijuana in their pocket. Now, now they get the show. The last thing I want you to do is feel like you're bothering us because you're not. My officers are all aware of what's going on. Um, call us, keep calling us. You know, I know that your city council um, is uh, very concerned about what's going on downtown and, and, I, and I'm in constant contact with them and I'm trying to keep them informed. But the last thing I want to do is give them false information, right? Because I heard earlier that you're getting a bunch of different information. That's the last thing I want. That's why I wanted to get you here today so you could hear it from me. I, I can guarantee you that I have full support of the council. Okay, so um, with anything that falls in public safety realm, falls on me. I'm not getting any uh, any uh, interference from anyone. Okay, so the decisions that are made, um, I obviously run them by my boss, who I saw just walk up.